Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to explore some of the components provided by the Bootstrap. In order to learn those components, you can open their official website getbootstrap.com and click on the get started link where you will find a com uh, components section where you will find all the components which were provided by the Bootstrap. We are going to start with the alerts. There are different kinds of alerts available with the bootstrap where you want to specify some alerts to the user like user logged in successful data inserted successful or some error occurred while do, uh, while uh, deleting the record or any messages you want to display to the user you can use alert right there are dif uh, different kinds of alert like a primary alert secondary alert success alert danger alert warning info light and dark alerts right when you want uh, such kind of alerts inside your code, what you can write is you can create a div and your message here, right? You can write your message here, but I want, if I run this particular file without uh, writing any other classes, it will be displayed something like this, right? But you want that to be alert. So what you need to do is, you just need to specify some class to it, like this particular message, is an alert so I'll specify a class to it alert and which kind of alert like a space and alert dash if I specify primary alert space alert dash primary which kind of alert I want and when I refresh the page you can see the alert message will be displayed something way better than without the alert class if I want some error to be displayed I can specify alert dash danger so it will be have a light red background and some error will be displayed you can use some additional component with them like if i want something like this i can add some more uh, elements inside that particular div. you can also use a dismissing alerts right sometimes you want alert to be dismissive uh, dismissible so you can use a class alert dash dismissible over here and you can specify how you want them to be dismissed so fed and current is so i want currently it would be displayed and then i need to display a button to close this particular uh, alert i want a button so i need to write a button over there a button sorry a button which specifies a times here they have writ, uh, written ampersand times which is an html entity as we know if I want a space, I can write NBS, sorry, NBSP. So same way, if I want a times uh, arrow, like a times icon, I can use ampersand times. So it will be displayed like this. Here, there will be a button, a times button. When I click this button, our alert will be dismissed. So this is how you can use a dismissible alerts. If you know JavaScript and jQuery, you can use a JavaScript behavior, but this is not mandatory. If you want, you can explore this with the help of JavaScript also or a jQuery also. You can use such kind of alerts or dismissible alerts, or you can set some more uh, like a interactive way of dealing with alerts. But this is optional. If you want, you can explore. JavaScript behavior will be uh, there in, at the end of this particular uh, document at every component. So if you know the JavaScript and jQuery, you can explore this section also. So the next uh, component which we are going to learn is a badge. When you want to have some badges at the end, like uh, for example, in a mail, how many mails you have uh, not read or uh, how many unread me uh, WhatsApp messages you have, you can specify with the help of badge. All you need to do is you need to create one span and you need to specify a badge class as well as badge spell there's all the colors which we have learned in the alert like primary info danger uh, success these colors will be displayed over here let's see an example if i want a badge in my alert in our specific message also here i can specify that also here a badge and a secondary badge new in our alert right when i refresh my page you can see there will be a badge over here if I want that to be like uh, in a green color, what I can do is I can specify success over here, badge dash success, and I can specify like I want 10 messages. You have messages, you have uh, new messages, like 
inside bracket i am specifying 10 in a batch class so it will be displayed something like this a batches you can use many batches something like this there are different kinds of uh, way by in which you can write these batches uh, some pill batches if you want some kind of uh, batches like this you can use a uh, links inside that you can also use this is how you can use batches you can explore this particular section in detail when you practice this particular session you we can specify breadcrumbs right uh, as you know in our like web technology we have learned some kind of uh, best practices in that we have uh, seen that user must know where it is right now in our website so we need to specify breadcrumbs like currently you are inside the home library and data here you are currently you need to specify the page at which you are currently right this is the best practice for uh, like web designing and in order to do the, so you need to use breadcrumbs like here if i specify i am copying this particular code and writing it inside our page so it will be displayed like a breadcrumb in our page something like this home uh, library and i need not that i just need uh, the last one so i can specify where i am currently home library and data so you use you can use breadcrumbs to display the current location of your uh, page right we can we have lots of buttons with the bootstrap the same colors like primary secondary success danger let's see an example if i create a basic button if i create a basic button i'm removing all the code which we have written i'm just creating one button and i'm writing click here right i'm not using any bootstrap classes when i refresh this particular uh, page you can see i'm zooming the page so that you can uh, look it better so this is the basic html button which doesn't look good if i want that to be a uh, bootstrap button or uh, with some styles to it i can simply specify a class btn then okay? right when i specify a class btn it will be a bootstrap class basic boot it, it still is a button but we don't specify which kind of button i want so it will be displayed something like this but when i specify like btn dash primary it will have a primary color with it primary background color with it if i want a danger button like a delete button i want a delete button which is a danger if you click there it will be deleted so i want that to be a danger button what i will write is btn space btn dash danger what is cool about uh, bootstrap is if i have a link also href and i write click here a basic link right a basic html link will be displayed something like this as you know but if i specify class to it btn btn dash danger it is a link but i am specifying a class button you can see it will be displayed like a button only right whether it is a link or it is a button it will be displayed same because we are specifying some class to it and that class will change the default behavior of that particular link and it will be displayed like a button so we can use different kinds of buttons a same colors primary secondary success danger warning info light and dark right so you can use those classes when you want uh, like some other kind of buttons outline button some buttons like this you can use a button dash online uh, oh sorry outline and then danger or any other color so instead of btn dash danger directly you can specify btn dash outline dash danger and our output would be something like this so you can di create different kinds of button you can specify size to it right you can specify size to your buttons let's see we are creating two different buttons when i refresh the page you can see both are of the same size right but if i specify btn dash sm over here btn dash sm class over here you can see the second button will be smaller than the current button because we are specified size to it we can specify btn dash lg as well which stands for large sorry not this code large so the second would be larger than the first so this is how we can specify the sizes to our button 
if you want a block level button a button which uh, like uh, last till the uh, width of that particular division what you can do is you can specify btn dash block class so when i specify this class on my first uh, link as you know i am specifying a block button in my first link my page will be first button will be block uh, my current width will be blocked by the first button itself so my second button will come on the next line if i want that to be a block i can specify that button also with the block so it will block all my width right so this have you can use many kinds of buttons some disable button like the button is there but i cannot click that particular button or it will display some in a light color you can specify to be disabled you just need to specify that button to be disabled and when i refresh the page you can see this particular button is now disabled right now you can uh, use some many kinds of buttons like checkbox and radio buttons also can be uh, like uh, used with these particular classes you can explore this particular page to learn more buttons right you can create button group sometimes you need a button group like a pagination if you want uh, to specify number of buttons together you can specify button group right to do so you just need to write all your button inside a div and need to specify a class btn group so these all buttons will be grouped together right you can uh, the most important and very uh, like uh, in order to design a good website you must use cards right sometime you have to use it and this component will some display something like this you will have uh, seen this particular in many like in our darshan website also we have used cards we have used card like here this is cards if you want to design something like this you can use cards and uh, what is the, like how we can do that is we'll create a class uh, division and specify a, a class card with them and we'll we can specify a card body to them and card title card title will be displayed here and card text will be displayed over here outside the body whatever you will write will be displayed over here like if you want something like that we can create a uh, create a card inside our code when i copy this particular code and paste over here i need to specify some image source over here right but currently i'm not uh, writing that particular here whatever image you are writing will be displayed here and your card will be displayed something like this if i like write this particular card twice there will be a two class cards will be displayed over here similarly you can write number of cards and you can specify width to it if i do not specify width with them if i do not specify width them it will be of full width right it will be of full width we can even customize this particular card to be a specific uh, width with the help of grid system which we are going to learn in the later sessions so with the help of grid system you can also set the width of this particular card 